we are going to simulate what happens to a gene pool. Let's say this is our gene pool. Three phenotypes with certain frequencies. And these are the, the two A-select combinations of partners. And these are their offspring. And I made it that the offspring is between zero and four. Some have no offspring, some have one, two, three, and here we calculated that in general, in on average, 1.962 children out of these two parents. Uh, if you want to know what a gene pool is, you need to know a little more about the terminology of genetics and Mendelian laws, Mendel's laws. You can find that in the book, it's all in the genes. It's a perfect introduction to genetics. It also goes into the DNA issue and, and many more issues. Uh, simulations in Excel. I wrote a book that made, uh, that shows you how to make 80 different simulations. The one I'm showing you today is not in this book, but you will find many others, many others on statistics, uh, financial issues, on Monte Carlo simulations, statistics, etc. Let's get started. Let's say this is our gene pool. Um, be careful that uh, the functions we are going to use are not case sensitive. So capital A and lowercase a is the same in Excel. So I put a, a single quote after the capital A to distinguish the A from the other one. These are the frequencies. If you want to know how they were calculated, you need my book that tells you everything about this kind of issues. But uh, let me just show you the formulas here. These are the formulas. If this is the frequency of the recessive phenotype, then the heterozygotes are two times the square root, etc. And the other one is one minus the square root of that to the power of two. Now we have to find out what are the people in that population in that combination. So we put in here a VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP always looks up in the first column. And it looks, if it can't find an exact match, it goes to the previous one. So these numbers would not work. So we have to put a cumulative total here. The first one has just 0% in it. But the second one has the sum of D2 through D2. And the third one is D2 through D3. That is a cumulative total. So VLOOKUP will look for the previous value in ascending order. So 5% will go here. 15% will go there. 60% will go there. So VLOOKUP is very simple. Look up a random number. A random number returns between 0 and 1. So that's between 0% and 100%. In the table array B2 for C4. Make sure that the first column is included. The answer is found in column 2, that is the phenotype. And the range lookup is true or the closest match in the previous column. And we copy that formula down, we copy it to the right. So we get random combinations of pairs based on the frequencies in here. I calculated here at the bottom what the frequencies are. How do you do that? That is a count if function. Count if in the range B6 for B30, if there is that value in it, that is A32, if that is the case, then find that percentage and divide it by how many cases we have. In order to do so, you need count A, count or not count, that counts only numbers, but there are no numbers in here. So we count how many cases we have, that's 25, and OK it, and copy it down, and copy it to the right. Each time I press F9, this simulation makes new combination of parents, 
and you will see that at the bottom uh, this is usually in the range around 10%, that is in the range of around 43%, and that is 47. Because we have only 25 cases, there is a lot of randomness or chance involved. Then we want to find out first a simple case. What are their descendants? I'm just going to do it for one case at this moment. I'm going to look up in column H what the parents combination is. Capital A, capital A times with capital A, capital A, the offspring is always this. That is the laws of, uh, of Mendel. You can find that information in here. I'm not going to explain that. So we uh, make up that list and here we are going to do another VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP B6 and C6, ampersand, that creates a link of these two, B6 ampersand CX. So it, it would be something like this, or that, or that. Look that up in table array H2 through L10, in which column is your offspring, that is randomness again, so we are going to use RAND between between 2 and 5, column 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, a random number between those. And the range lookup is false this time. We want to find an exact match this time. Okay. And you copy that formula down. And you will find out <coughs> again that it is usually around 4%, 60%. So now we did that for one person, uh, for one child. Let's find out if you want to do this many more times you could use a table that does all this calculation again. We put in here a link to F32 etc etc. So these are linked to here and we are going to rerun this whole thing that was 25 times another 20 times. We do that with a data table. So what is in here? There is a formula in there that I'm going to delete. How do you make a data table like this? You select an extra column at the beginning. You include the formulas at the top, which is equals F. 32, F33, etc., and you start a data table. What if analysis? Data table. Uh, the row input is already done. The column input, I'm going to click on any cell that is empty. That's the spot where it is going to internally save the values. And this is what you got. It, uh, does this another 20 times. It reruns everything to the left and does that several times. If I calculate the averages here again, they should be much closer to the original frequencies because I have many more cases, 25 times 20 times. So my population is growing and growing and growing. Let's do this one more time, but this time we are going to Say I could have four descendants, an offspring of four children per two partners. So in here we put the following formula. If rand between 0,6, you have to experiment with that a little bit. You, you can do that between, uh, <coughs> then we say if that is greater than column A1, that is the column number in A1, that is 1, and there it's going to be B1, when you copy it, C1, so that is 2, 3, 4. So if that rand between number between 0 and 6 is greater than column A1, then look up. Again, the combination of these two parents in the table array here, and again use a RAND between number for the offspring, two or three or four or five column, 
false otherwise put nothing in there leave it empty that means no descendant okay. and it does that many many times so some people have no descendants some have one some two some three and some have four descendants in this case i happen to have no four descendants by coincidence there i have one case on average they have two descendants 152 2 152 so here i have just a simple formula four cases minus count the blanks in here and the count blank in this case is one so four minus one is three they have three descendants and you copy that formula down and here you calculate the average of all these descendants again that is a simple simulation and you can make it as complicated as you want i'm just trying to get you started the more you know about simulations and the more you know about genetics the better you can do this job you can find these two books at genesispc.com genesispc.com they have been very helpful for many people to introduce them to these issues.